Hello, sunshine. Have I got a Timu haul for you today? Oh my gracious. When I was putting all these things together, I found a remarkable thing. We've got 60 items and they're all eights. So today, we're going to have crazy eights. So be looking for that video and come back and join me. Wonderful now that I'm here with you. I want to thank you all for coming to visit with me. I am so glad when you take the time out to come and spend it with me. And today I have a Timu haul to spend with you. We've got some interesting gadgets and gizmo and some beautiful things to look at. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and enjoying what God has blessed me with. So, get yourself something to drink, something to snack on, and sit back and enjoy. Because we're getting ready to have some fun. So, it's exciting. I'm excited. Timu has so many wonderful things, and every time I go on the website, I see something new, and y'all know how I am with those gadgets and gizmos. I love them, love them, love them. Anything to make my life more organized and more easy. Love it. Well, like I said, today's a Timu haul, and for those of you that aren't familiar with Timu, I'm a Timu affiliate, and my link is below along with my affiliate code. Now, for those of you that haven't been on Timu, if you use that code, you'll be able to get a 30% discount on your first order, and that's so exciting because Timu prices are already so very, very low. And if you're an existing user, use my affiliate code. You can get some great coupons. Timu is an online marketplace with thousands and thousands of vendors, and all those vendors are competing for prices. So what does that mean to us? We get better deals. Love me some Timu. So today, we're going to sit back and enjoy. First, before we start the haul, I know, I know, y'all are saying, don't make me wait, don't make me wait, but I want to report back some things from my last haul. First of all, I had some comments on that round grater. I used it on some carrots, and it julienned them beautifully. But I do want to get together. I'm hoping next week to get together a kitchen demonstration of some of the kitchen tools for chopping and grating and slicing vegetables. So I'm trying to get that together, so be a little patient with me. Now, the potato bag that I rent and raven. I hope y'all went and put that in your cart and got it because those potato bags are wonderful. And I had a few questions about it. You do not have to poke holes in the potatoes. Just wash them like you normally would and put them in the potato bag and put them in the microwave. Now a normal size potato you can do for 8 to 10 minutes depending on your microwave. Two nice sized potatoes I would do for 12 minutes. And they come out so fluffy, just like you get from the steakhouses. Oh my goodness, I love my potato bag. Now, the popcorn popper, I got some comments, did a little research, found out it best works with clarified butter. Oh, um, so, I tried it out. It did butter very well. It didn't burn the kernels. It did a really good job. So I'm very pleased with the silicone top for the popcorn popper. Now the ice cream maker, I dug in my old cookbooks 
got two recipes for ice cream. So this week I will be doing a video on the ice cream maker. So we'll see how that works. It's in the freezer now, getting extra, extra cold. So the little meatball maker, I used it. Oh my goodness, it's so easy. It's so easy. Make meatballs any size you want. So that worked out great. And the dryer beads, what can I say? I had the smell in my clothes just as good as with those name brands. And it does only take one little packet when you're putting your clothes in your washing machine. Just put one little packet in your washing machine. Now, the little washing machine that's set to use in your sink for cleaning your vegetables and whatnot, I have not tested yet, but I do want to do a video on that when I'm doing the chopping videos. So I'm trying to get that together. So that's my report on everything from the previous hauls. So today, as you can see, I have my snowflake earrings on and my little snowman shirt from Timu. The link will be at the bottom. It'll say what I'm wearing, as well as the link for everything. Let me move this box. I'll show it to you later. It's gotta wait, gotta wait. But as well as the link to everything I show you today. So, let's get into it. All right, there will be a lot of plastic, a lot of rattling today because we have 60 items. So, bear with me, let's get into it, and let's have some fun. So, got my trusty little Timu Cloud. The first item we have, it's just, it was $3.48. They come in several, several different colors. But all of you that know my channel know that I have two cats and a dog. And I love kitty cats. It's just a cute little kitty cat mug. Look at that. Little ears up. And like I said, it came in several different colors. Little tail curled up. Nice size mug. I'm, it holds 8 ounces. It's a good 8 ounce mug. And this is microwave safe. Now, I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher only because you don't want this to come off in the dishwasher. But a cute little kitty cat mug. The coffee, tea, perfect for hot cocoa around the fireplace. So, then I got, think about what time of year it is. Apples. Apples are great this time of year. And what do we want to make with apples? How many of y'all made them little individual brown betties? Well, I didn't have any decent apple core. So I got, this says, let me put the top on the show you the box. This says it's an apple and pear core. But we know with Timu, there are multi-functional tools. This little core was $3.48. We like multi-functional tools, not one purpose tool. Made of heavy duty stainless. Look at this. It's very sharp here. And very sharp here when you're coring. So you're going to put this in your apple. And you're going to core out the middle. Now, once you core out the middle, you're going to chop the pieces of apple that you can. You're going to mix that with butter, sugar, cinnamon. Then you're going to put it back in to the apple. And you're going to put it in the microwave for six to eight minutes, depending on your microwave. And you're going to have the best little apple tart you've ever had. If you want to put a little crumble of oatmeal mixed with some sugar and flour on top, you got a brown betty. Perfect. And if anybody wants that recipe, just send me a comment. But that little core was three forty-eight. So, just core you an apple and get that done. Now, everybody tests their cakes. They put in a toothpick or a knife. And I do the same. I do the same. But I just saw this little cake tester, which just a little stainless steel. But look, it says cake tester. I couldn't resist. Yes, I have my snowman nails on. Y'all know me and my nails. I'm ready for snow. It is cold. So, little cake tester. Sturdy. It's sturdy. Just Stick it in my container with my spoons and everything else in it that stick on my counter. So, and that little cake tester was a dollar forty-eight. 
Now, I found this little gadget. And I thought this was real neat. I grow my own rosemary and my own thyme. And I have bushes outside my kitchen window. And I'm forever using them. Look at this. It's a little herb comb. You can put the herbs through here to get the leaves off, depending, or just run them through the comb. And this little herb comb was $1.48, made of very, I mean, I can't, I can't bend it. Very heavy duty plastic. Just a little herb comb, just to make things easier than picking the leaves off the stems. And how many of us have picked the leaves off the stems when we want to use the leaves? So, I thought that was real cute. I was very, very happy with that. Now, I've got a peppercorn. We do our green peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers, and we use our knife to get the coring out. But this little gadget, now look, you can use it in the small peppers. This has got a pretty sharp little edge. Yes, it's plastic. It's heavy duty plastic. And it's got a pretty good little, little sharp edge on it. Let's see how it goes down. And then you've got the bigger ones for the bell peppers. And yeah, it, it's pretty sharp little edge. So you really want to be careful with that. But just to core and stuffed peppers. Look at this time of year. Stuffed peppers. Come on, bring those old recipes back. Nothing like those old recipes. But the little peppers were a dollar forty-eight, and you get both of them. Use them to de-seed. I don't know if y'all like spicy food. I love spicy food, but spicy food doesn't like me. <laughs> So I have to take the seeds out. I'm guilty. But stuffed peppers this time of year. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm making myself hungry. I'm making myself hungry. <laughs> now this is a must. This is a must for anybody who does cakes, makes bread, does anything. It's just your little duster. Use it for flour. Use it for brown sugar. And I like this one. I like this one because it's a good size. It's better than those small metal round ones. It's got a good top. Look at that. No holes. Airtight. But when you open it, you've got your mesh. Look at that. Your mesh here. Unscrew it. Put your product. And look at that. That's probably about six ounces. That's good. Even if you're making bread, you're not going to use this much flour to sprinkle on your cutting board or your pastry board. And screw on your top. If I can get my top on. Y'all know my arm is still weak, so I'm, I'm getting there. But thank you for all your wonderful, wonderful comments during my recovery. They mean so much to me. But you've got a good wide mesh here. So it's going to be easy to clean. It's not the skinny little mesh. So you can actually leave your powdered sugar or leave your flour in here, put your top on airtight, and stick it in the refrigerator. And this little duster was $2.48, but it's well worth it because like I said, this is the time of year to be making bread and cakes, and you can leave this stored in your refrigerator for the next one that comes up. So I was really happy about that. Now, this is also pie time. Now, you know I got my pie crimper, but this is a different one. This seals them and gives you that design, and this little thing was $1.78, so now I have both of them, and I'm very happy. $1.78, just roll it around the outer sides of the pie, see, and it gives you that design. So, your homemade pies are going to look just as pretty as those fancy dancy Store-bought pies. No more crimping. No more fingers crimping around the edges of the pie. Just roll it around. So, we got this. Dollar 78. You asked me where I put all my gadgets, gadgets and gadgets and gizmos. Thank goodness my kitchen is a good size. Now, cleaning. All of you that know my channel know I had back surgery and hardware put in my back. So, cleaning things is a little more difficult to me now. So, 
I've gotten some things to help me do that. So, let me show you some great deals from Timu to help you if you have a bad back or just don't want to hurt your back. First thing. Uh, this is big. Bear with me. And it's noisy because it's in class to craft open it. This is a dust mop. Okay? Now, this dust mop comes with... You've got your poles. And we'll put this together and see how long it is. It comes with a replacement head. Look at this. And... another head and your piece that goes in to your handle. So, this is all stretchable, breathable. So let's put this in here. Just like so. And we know long nails make everything more complicated. Okay, so it fits in nicely just like this. Now this is very soft. And then this, of course, is going to pick up everything. Everything. So, we've got those spots on our walls, those corners in our ceilings, our ceiling fans. This is going to pick it up and trap it so it's not going to fall on our floors. All right, let's see how long this pole is. All right, let's see what we have here. All right. So we have three rods and a handle. Let's get this thing put together. All right, let's just screw in for that. So, figure out how they fit in, all right? So that just snaps in there. Okay. And that just snaps in there. Oh, this is long. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to reach everything. Handle slips right up. Oh, that was easy. And look, the handle has a hook. See the hole for the hook so we can hang it up? Or we can get one of those catch hooks that you can get off Timu to clip it onto the wall. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is long. Okay. Now this just screws on to here. So we're going to screw it on here. Okay. Now, let's see what we have. I'm going to put this straight on the floor. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's not even camera range. Now, I am five foot two. Yes, I'm short. I'm five foot two. <laughs> oh, it comes. I can back up a little bit. I'm five foot two. Look where it comes on me. Look at this. Look how tall that is. I am not going to have any problems. Let's see here. Oh, look, it's already on my ceiling. It's touching my ceiling, and I have standard height ceilings. No problem. Reaching around furniture. Oops, I lost an earring. Reaching around furniture, getting in corners. I mean, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I lost an earring. Oh well, got a naked ear. So, I don't know about y'all, but I don't want two naked ears, so I'm gonna take this one off. Okay, now I have two naked ears. Isn't that great? So I like that. I'm very happy with that. That's gonna save my back and save my arms. I'm happy about that. And then I've got a clean one. And I'll tell you, as with Timu, most stuff doesn't come with instructions, but I don't see anything wrong with throwing this in the washing machine. It's sturdy, good stitching, yeah. I see nothing wrong with throwing this in the washing machine. And this mop was $7.48. Two heads, nice long handle. So I'm real happy with that. Real happy with that. That's going to help me. All right. Now, the next thing is this little cleaning gel. Now, we've seen this all over Timu. And I'm a bit skeptical. Because it looks like gel, and it looks like I'm thinking of that slime, you know, that the kids play with. Kids, grandkids. But it says it's magic dust removal and track. It's showing using it in cars, on keyboards, and different delicate things. 
So let's open it up. What can we lose? Let's open it up. See what it's like. See if it's sticky. I have tissues over here. All right, here we go. I don't even have to use my cutter. Let's see what this gel is like. Let's see what it's like. Oh boy, I hope it's not messy. So let's find out. We're gonna find out. Ooh, <laughs> it feels like the slime the kids used to. All right. Ooh, okay. Hold the phone. <laughs> all right. So, all right, it did not stick to my hand. Okay, it's not sticking to my hand. It stays in a ball. It does not stick to your hand. So it's not like the old slime. All right, let's see. Let me just put it on the desk here. My desk is clean. I'm trying to put it on my shelf on my desk. See if I can. Okay, it picked up a couple little particulates. Let me see on my keyboard. My keyboard's behind you. You can't see my keyboard, but I'm putting it on my keyboard. Okay. I don't know if you can see a few white little particulates, but it did pick them up from my keyboard. So this stuff may work. I'm going to put it back in this package, and I'll do a little more experimenting and let you know how it does. It has a good smell to it. It smells fresh. It smells clean. Not a pine scent, but it has a good scent to it. Hmm. Yeah, leaves my hands smelling, but like I said, not a bad smell. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe that gel really does work. That's cool. And that gel was $1.46. But it might be good just to run across the keyboards and to get in the cup holders of your car and all the nooks and crannies. They show it getting in the dust vents of the car and all those things. I have a little brush that I use for the vents of the car. I may try that and see how that does. And I'll definitely let you know how that does. Now, this next little thing. Always looking for gadgets for my sink. Because y'all know I cook. This is a sink strainer. Now this sink strainer, we're gonna have to figure out how this works now, y'all. All right, it comes with plastic, pretty sturdy. It's got suction cups here. So I take it this suction cup stays on the corner of your sink. So you attach these three to the corner of your sink. Then you've got knobs up here. Now, let's see. These are supposed to be bags, little disposable net bags that come with it. Let's see what they're like. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's see if this was worth our little $1.98. Okay, oh. They're supposed to be 25 of these. All right, so this is what we have, a bag here. So we have this at the top. It's elastic. So we're going to attach this around each of the knobs up here. So let's see what we got. What we got, what we got, what we got. Okay. So we've attached around here. And now we've got, it's, it's, a, it's a nylon. Thicker than hose, a little different material. But you've got the little bag that hangs down here. Now the bag is closed at the bottom. This is completely closed and sealed. And what I like about this is that when we put our scraps in, like from cutting or scraping plates or things like that, the water's gonna leak out and drain. I do like that fact. So, and that would be good. That's something good to teach the children. So, when they scrape their plates out before they do dishes or whatnot, to scrape them in here. That way they don't get things in the sink. Because we know sometimes children get a little lazy and they put their plates in the sink with food in it. And that's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> so, that might work. $1.98. And it comes with all these bags. So... 
We'll see. You know what we'll do, don't you? As we always do, test it out on the grandchildren. <laughs> My poor grandchildren are guinea pigs. <laughs> test it out on the grandchildren. All right. Now, another thing for the bathroom. They've got these. Now, this long-handled brush was $2.38. But look at this. Sturdy. Look how long this is. Sturdy. I mean sturdy. You got your pivoting head here. Pivoting head. And this is a nice scrub brush. You got a real soft sponge in the white. So it's going to be flexible and go over it. But look at that scrub pad there. That's really nice. So I can stand on the outside of my tub and I'm going to be able to reach everywhere in my shower. So just spray your normal cleaner and without exertion or using your back you're going to be able to use this long handle brush and reach everywhere in your shower this is going to save you it's going to save me and that's what i need we need to take care of our backs and take care of our bodies so i'm really excited about this i got a couple little gizmos and gadgets and brushes like the one to clean the ceilings and whatnot. And you know, so many people don't think about cleaning their ceilings. But they need to. I don't care how clean your house is, you go get dust on that ceiling and then the casual little spider's gonna sneak in and try to make a web in your ceiling. Now this one is a little brush that's more for cleaning the backs of your commodes on the sides, the outside of your commode. Now this has got a good, good stiff brush on it. I mean, this is a scouring brush. So it's good for porcelain. I mean, this is perfect for porcelain. Good ergonomically brush. Look at this. This is gonna save a lot of bending and stooping. And this little brush was 67 cents. That's a good brush. So, happy about that. And like I said, I'm just trying to get things that are going to make things easier for me. Now, check this one out. This one is the one I'm the most excited about. I am the most excited about. We had to replace something in our freezer. I don't know what it was. I I'm not mechanically inclined. And they pulled out our freezer. Oh my goodness, the dust bunnies behind my freezer. And the guy said, do you vacuum your fan? I'm like, uh-oh, what's a fan? What's a vacuum a fan out? He goes, you need to get the dust and stuff out from behind your fan. I was like, whoops. Look at this. Look at this. It's, all, it's a cover. It'll come off so you can wash it. And under here, you've got a stiff... Stiff, flexible, plastic fan. Now, soft. It's going to pick up dust, dust bunnies. We're going to screw it on here. And you're going to say, Heather, that's too short to do anything with. What am I supposed to do? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Under your stove, under your dishwasher, under your bed, under your dressers, under everything. Because look, look, it's so flexible. It's going to go right under it. And this little flexible long handle one, let's see, which one did I have this under? The thin brush, $3.98. And you can just take this off and wash it. But it's going to go under my bed, under my furniture, under my appliances. And look how long. Let's put this thing on the floor. Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's the standard broom handle. A standard broom handle. So I'm not going to have to bend. I'm not going to have to stoop. I'm telling you, I'm getting these shortcuts to help me out. 
getting up there. I gotta watch myself. So I'm real happy with that. Real happy with that. Now, oh, we're going back to veggies. Going back to veggies. This is a cutter core. Ooh, and it looks sharp. Look at this. This is stainless steel. Oh, man. You see that? See all the little blades on that? Look. I got blades all up and down here. Look at that. Blades all on that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that looks sharp. It's $1.48. It is stainless. That looks sharp. But that would cut or core. Wow. Yeah. That may go to my daughter. That may be a little sharper than something I want in my stables. <laughs> but yeah. Looks real nice. Looks real nice. Now. Those of you that are trying to eat healthy are using different kind of oils. I know you are. So, I am starting to use, now I've always used olive oil, but I'm starting to use canola oil. So, I have a spray bottle for olive oil. So now I want a spray bottle for my canola oil. And I love these bottles because they're so easy to use. Just spray it in the pan. You don't have to pour and get too much because it doesn't take a lot of oil. So I just picked up a little spray bottle. And these are multi-use bottles. I mean, you can use these on your plants when you bring them in for winter. $1.88. They come in different sizes. You can get them in black and white. Just a little spray bottle. Just a little misting bottle. All right, what else do we have here? Now, oh, we're gonna move something cute. How many of y'all use chopsticks? I use them when I go visit my grandchildren because they like to use chopsticks. So I ran across these that when you're setting the table would look really, really cute. Now, I'm sure y'all heard about panda bears. All the panda bears in the United States are being sent back to China because panda bears just can't thrive over here and they can't thrive in the zoos. They're not mating, they're not thriving. They just need to be back in the wild and back in their home habitat. So they're all being sent back over there. Which is sad because when I was younger, I went to the DC Zoo, I saw the pandas. I've seen pandas before, but my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren won't be able to see pandas and won't know about pandas. It's sad. It's sad. But these, now these are porcelain. And they're real cute. They look like a little sleepy panda. Just laying down. They're porcelain. They got the curved body. And you just lay the chopsticks across it. So you'd sit these on the table. And just lay the crossed chopsticks across there. So that way when you're eating, the chopsticks don't have to lay on the table or lay on the side of your plate to roll off or if you want to get seconds or something with your plate. So they're just real cute little pandas. I got a set of 10. Just cute little pandas. And those little pandas, let's see, what were those little pandas? It's $1.49 for two, but I know this is a lot of sellers selling them, so you might be able to find a better price. Now, this we're going to change up a little bit. I was going to do this different, but I'm going to do this like this now. How many of us have phones that we put in our purses or put in our pockets? Well, I'm finding out that's a bad thing to do. Because we can get lint and trash in our charging port. These little brushes were 98 cents. You get 10. So you just pull one off. They're itty bitty little brushes. And you use these brushes to clean your charging port. 
to make sure there's no dust or no dirt in it before you put your charger in it to make sure you have a good connection. Now, like I said, these little things were 98 cents for 10. I recommend these, that you get these for your phone. Now, this I was going to show you with the jewelry, but I'm going to show you now. So I'm skipping ahead a little bit. This is something they are now recommending for your phones. Now, I just got a pretty one because I'm pretty. <laughs> this is a phone charm. Now, I've got a butterfly phone case, so I got a butterfly. And see that? It's a butterfly. It hangs down. Let's see. You see it? It's just a butterfly. It's got a little pink center, pinkish purple center with the two little butterflies. All right. On this end, you see that clear plastic? That's a plug. And that plug is what you plug into your charging port. So, what you do is you clean it with the little brushes and then you plug in the plug to keep your port clean that way you could put it in your pocket or your pocketbook and your charging port is going to stay clean and that's what they're recommending so that's the new thing that's on the big wide web about how to take care of your phone so I'm recommending that And they have beautiful charms. Beautiful charms. All different kinds of charms. Now, let's go to the bathroom. How many of us have our little loofahs and our little sponges and our little things in the bathroom? I hang mine by the spigot. <laughs> yes, spigot. I'm old. I'm country. Spigot. Well, I saw this little thing. All right. All right. Here it is. It's plastic. I'll show you the front of it. It's plastic. Okay. You've got suction here. And yes, they showed this suction working in the shower. Suction here. And it's got your holders. And these go down in here. So you'd put them. Now these are made for the corner. Okay. So we'd have these in here. Whoops. And this would be in the corner of your shower. Now, before you put them in here, you're going to feed these on here. Look at these little hooks to hang your loofah or to hang your washcloth where it's drying before you put it in the dirty clothes basket. Now, remember, I'm country. Don't make fun of my terminology. So. You've got a little stand and the hooks slide all over for you to put them, space them out or whatever. Is that not so neat? And this little hook, let's see, this little rack was $1.98. So I love this. I'm excited about that. Very excited about that. Now, this little thing, much of nothing, $1.97, it does come in other different colors. It's got the sticky, the double sticky, and again, this is made for shower. Stick it on the wall, so there's the wall, we've got it stuck on the wall, lift it up, and you just stick your razor in it. That way when your razor's drying, so your blades don't stay wet and have a chance of getting rusty, so you get cut or anything else. Just stick your razor in it, shut the lid, it hangs on the wall. This looks so neat. So, just something to keep from razors sitting on the side of the tub. And when you got girls, it just looks, mm, and I don't like that. <laughs> I just don't like that. So, as a neat thing that I can get to make things look neater, I'm going to do that. So, I did. And, speaking of things look neater... And cooler, yes, cooler, I'm an old, old lady, so. This screws on the end of your sink. And what you get is a light show. All right, so you've got this. 
Now this piece looks just like the piece you have on the end of your sink. But you screw this on. Inside of this, see here, is a colored LED light that has a rainbow light. The reds, the greens, the purples, the yellows, the whites. So the water spray, the picture doesn't give it justice, so I can't show you the picture. But the lights come out with a, the, the lights. All right, Heather, get it together. <laughs> the water comes out lit with a light stream of lights, colored lights in the water. I just thought that was so neat. A faucet light, $2.67. So I'm going to try that out. Yes, it has a good washer and the screen to protect your pipes and protect your sink. And you just put it on and screw it on your sink. It's going to add about inch and a half to your sink. But think about it, the lights. Is that not going to be cool? So I'm excited to try that out. Very excited to try that out. Now, speaking of the bathroom and where to put things and organize. You know, we talked a little bit inside the shower last video. This is a shell rack. Paid $2.48. Again, you've got the stickies to stick it on to the shower. It's made for the shower. It's like a shell. Put these on here. Slide them down. Let's see if I can slide them down. Okay, snap. We heard a snap. That's always a good sign. Now, you can pick flowers, shells. They had several, several different things. I just picked shells. Look. Just a cute little shelf. Now, I got this. A cute little shelf. I got this to put in the back side of my shower. Not necessarily to get wet, but I have a problem sometimes. I forget to take my jewelry off. Yeah, I forget to take my jewelry off. So, when I'm in the shower washing my hair, I'll go, uh, earrings or uh, necklace. So, I thought I could put it in here while I'm in the shower. That way, I don't have to open the shower curtain, chance of getting the floor wet, blah, 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 or losing my jewelry. So, just a neat little... Shelf rack. So, like I said, it was $2.48, but they have single shelves, double shelves, other designs. I just got one that was a little more because I like this. And they are sturdy. You're not bending these suckers. Look at this. I can't bend it. Okay. Little shell rack. Nice and cute. Now, for my grandchildren, I got them a little soap dish. And like I said, pandas are popular right now because of them leaving, you know, the United States. And there's your panda. It snaps in here. Okay, we're going to try to snap it in there. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. And it's just a little soap dish. It does have the holes in here, and this comes out. You just dump it and drain it. But just a little panda soap dish. Cute for little ones. Just get a book about pandas, teach them about pandas. And little panda dish, $1.78. They had other things. I just got the panda because I'm trying to teach them about pandas while pandas are still here. And speaking about grandchildren, you know how sometimes when it's time to do chores and they're supposed to take turns? Well, look at this. Look at this. This is a chore dice. Now, this side says wash dishes, sweep, cook, mm, wash clothes, do nothing. Oh. I mean, it's got all kinds of little sayings all around it. So, I just thought that would, whoops, 
be cute. As there's three of them, and they take turns doing different things. And the little chore dice, dollar eighteen cent, just a little novelty thing. That would be cute. And you know, say one of them left up on the do nothing. What could they say? So that was cute. Now this, oh, let me tell y'all. Since I've been home after my back surgery, I toss and turn. Now I bought those elastic triangle sheet holders, but I'm still pulling the sheets off the corners of the bed. So I follow these sheet holders. Now, how they're supposed to work, they come four. Now this has got rough edges. This is supposed to go between the mattress and the box spring, okay? And it looks like it would hold it down. Then you've got a hole here. So this goes under the fitted sheet. So this is the mattress and box spring. The fitted sheet's gonna go over top here. Then you're gonna use one of these. Okay, so we've got the fitted sheet over here. Then we're gonna use one of these and put the fitted sheet through here and then pull it up and lock it in. So your fitted sheet is locked down by this button. So I'm hoping that will hold the fitted sheet on my corners so I don't pull it off. I have a mattress pad, but I still hate pulling my fitted sheet off. But I toss and turn so much with my back. So these are little sheet holders. They were $2.89. So we'll see if they work. I will let you know. So if you have that problem, check them out. I'll let you know. Now, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? How many of you wash your tennis shoes or wash any shoes and put them in a the dryer? How many are guilty? Well, I'm guilty because the sun's not always out to put them out in the sun on the deck. So, got this little contraption. Oh, this is not the right contraption. This is not the right contraption. I picked up the wrong thing. This is my dryer protection. This is my ironing protection. I am so sorry. This is not my tennis shoe protection. We'll get to that. This is when I was setting my table for winter and I got all my snowman placemats and my snowman run around. I had to iron them. Now, they came from Timu, but I was a little nervous because they had the snowman design on them and the writing that said, let it snow. So, I tried ironing from the back side, but the back side didn't go all the way through because I didn't want to use steam. I just used a hot iron. So, I had to iron them from the front side. Well, I had bought a set of these and it worked really good. So I got some more, and I'm going to give these to my daughter. These. Now, they don't look like diddly squat. Look at this. I mean, that's a good size. Because I ironed in my dining room chair. I'm not going to tell you. My dining room chair is fabric covered. But I ironed in my dining room chair. Fabric covered. But somehow, this material has some space-age, fancy-dancy material that you can iron on iron on something that has a design decal something on it and it doesn't mess it up but it heats it enough to get the wrinkles off so what they call this is an ironing protective cloth now you get two in a package they're a dollar and 67 cent and i highly recommend those they are wonderful wonderful because I was worried to death about those. And then I remembered I had bought a pack of it. And I tried them. So this I'm giving to my daughter. Because as y'all know, my grandson is in the army. And sometimes she has to do his dress stuff. Because he'll take his dress jacket and throw it in his duffel bag thing. And 
Mercy, mercy, I'm telling you, telling you, telling you. <laughs> so, she has to iron his jacket. So, yeah, that doesn't work out too good. So, that's going to come in handy for her. Now this, we're back to cleaning. Now, I have a lot of flower bases. And some of them have a unique shape. And you can't get into that unique shape. So, look at this. This is a vase cleaner. Now this is made of rubber, and this is made of rubber, but it's got lots of touchy little feet on it. I mean, look how rough it is. Lots of touchy little feet. And it's got a magnet. You hear that? The object of this is to put this, and let's see if we can do it with this. Let's, let's see if our squirt bottle works. No, wait a minute. Let's use our shaker bottle got a wider mouth. I'm taking everything apart. All right. It's between our ten dollar shaker bottle. All right. So we're going to put this here and put this here. All right. So we're supposed to be able to take this and go all over our vase to scrub with these little things, the inside of our vase. Hmm. That looks like it's working pretty good. Well, it looked like it was working pretty good. Let's we'll shake it back down, pick it up, and try it again. Now, this cup has ridges. Can you, I don't know if you can see, so maybe that's why it's not working so good. But some of my vases have ridges, too. So, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not work, because it doesn't look like it's working too good right now. But this is plastic, and I plan on using it on glass. So, we will have to see. This will be tested. We will find out. But this little glass vase cleaner was $2.48. So, so, we will have to see. I'm not so sure on that one. It looked good on the webpage. Got good reviews, but not so sure. We will find out. Now, this next little thing is just something that we take for granted. Charging brick. This is a fast charging charging brick with many ports plus all USB plus a type C and This little brick Was two thousand ninety eight cent. I'm telling you this because if you go to another store and try to buy this You're gonna pay a lot more a lot more order one have an extra one on hand for when you need it. It's going to be worth it in the long run. Timu's got your back. I'm telling you, Timu's got your back. Now, I got a couple little things that I think are going to help me out. Might help you out. I use my laptop a lot. So this wasn't quite what I expected. I'll tell you that. This is supposed to be a little mouse pad. Yeah, little mouse pad. The object of this is to put it around your wrist and have it support your wrist here, okay? So it's gonna support my wrist here. And then when I'm using my laptop, it supports my wrist. Now, just doing my hand like this, I feel the support. Now, I can still feel my muscles in my hand but I can feel the support. But it just looks so little in. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And this little mouse pad was $1.45. Comes in many, many, many different colors. Any color you want. Match your computer bag or whatever. Now this I got from my grandson who's left-handed. I only have one lefty in the family. This is a pencil gripper. It looks like a weird contraption. This little pencil gripper was $1.78. Do I have a pencil? Do I have a pencil? No, I don't have a pencil. Or do I have a pen? I don't have a pencil. Is this a skinny pen that'll fit in there? Will it fit? No, it won't fit. I do not have a pencil. Okay. 
I have a letter opener. Will that fit in there? I just want to fit something in there to show the... Oh, okay. My letter opener will fit in there. All right. I'm just using my letter opener. All right. The object is to put your pencil in here. You put two fingers in here. Your thumb and your index finger in here. Your middle finger in the hole here. And these two fingers through here. Hmm. How comfortable would that be? Actually, it's not bad. Actually, it's not bad. So that may help him be more comfortable writing. I don't know how it would be on a lefty. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see if he likes it. Because, honestly, even for a right-handed person, that felt pretty comfortable. Might want to check that out. Want to check that out. Now this, I have battery testers. This battery tester will go all the way up to a D battery. And it tests those little, what do they call them? The N batteries. Those are the ones that, the flat cell that look like a quarter. Now, I like this. $3.48. Look. Then you put the quarter ones in here. This will go from a D all the way. And look how small and compact it is. I like this one. The one I have is big and bulky. Not into that. So I really like this one. I like this battery tester. And this battery tester was only $3.48. So I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Now, oh my gracious, gracious me. This comes with a story. Boy, does it come with a story. My husband and I love flea markets. Love to go to the flea market. Love it. Love it. Well, there's a flea market about 30 miles from us. And I haven't been since before my surgery. But my husband goes usually one Sunday a month. Well, a few Sundays ago, he went to the flea market. And he caught a really good deal on something. So, naturally, he bought it. Well, I don't know how it happened. Whether he was giving the guy something to make change or took change from the guy. We, we bought some shrubs. Some beautiful, just evergreen shrub bushes got a good deal the guy was from a nursery and selling had a stand at the flea market so we got six to go out front of our house and got a great deal very happy very pleased came home put them in the ground they're doing wonderfully now no problem well about two weeks later we went to the grocery store okay went to pay for our groceries well apparently there was a new clerk running the cashier register so this young man used that pen that you put on money to tell whether it's counterfeit money or real money and two of the $20 bills that we had given the clerk were counterfeit. Oh boy. I'm freaking out. My husband's getting angry. You know, I mean, he doesn't carry a lot of cash except when he's going to the flea market. So he knew where those 20s came from. So we came home. We called the non emergency number and talked to the police gave them all the information we could and turned the money over to them so we haven't heard anything back from them but you know that's all we could do and we're out sixty dollars so I said that will never ever happen to us again so what do I do when I'm looking for something I go on Timu. 
guess what Timu had? This little device. This little device he can put in his pocket. This little device is a money tester. I'm going to pull the tab right now. Okay, I'll pull the tab. UV. All right. Excuse me. I'm not trying to shine this in your face. It's got a UV light. And this UV light picks up the stuff in the money that tells you whether it's fake or whether it's not fake. So, I promise you, whenever he goes to the flea market, this is going with him. And I don't care what those sellers think of him when he's testing that money they give him. Because if they're going to counterfeit a 20, I mean, come on, people. Can you believe they did that? So, this little money tester was $4.10. One of the best $4.10 I've ever spent. So, I have a money tester for $4.10 that will stay on the hook of my garage for whenever he goes to the flea market again. And that's my story. So, now, let's get into happy things. Happy things, happy things, happy things. All right. Happy things. What makes me happy? You make me happy. All right. Kitty cats make me happy. I found some kitty cats. on. Whoops. Whoops, the rest of my haul is trying to fall. Stay. Stay. <laughs> kitty cats. You know I love my kitty cat figurines. Look at this. Now these come in gold, black, and white. I just got the white. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Not sure what she's made of, but isn't she pretty? She was eight forty-seven, but I noticed this morning there's lots of different sellers, so you can probably get a better price. So we have this one, and. The typical Timu box, don't you know? <laughs> we love Timu. This one almost looks like he could be her kitten. Look at this. Look at that. Little nose up in the air. That one's so cute. And it looks like the diligent mother and the little mischievous kitten. Aren't those cute? And they were both eight for I paid eight forty seven, but like I said, they got a lot of different sellers and I saw them on there for a lot less. And those are my little kitty statues. I thought those were more cute. Now my grandchildren. They were saying something the other day. They asked me for something. And I told them. I said, the next time I come down and see you, I'm going to get you nothing. And you're going to like it. That's what they said to me. They said, what? I said, I'm going to get you nothing. And you're going to like it. I'm trying to put this together because it wasn't together in the package. You ready? So... For a dollar and twenty-eight cent, I got them nothing. It's a clear, clear, excuse me, clear acrylic ball with nothing. <laughs> Is that not too funny? So the next time I go see them, I'm gonna give them nothing. And they're gonna like it. <laughs> I thought that was just adorable. Now, it comes in circle or candy shape. But yeah, get them nothing. And they're going to like it. So, alright. Now, next thing. Y'all all see my charm bracelet. And no. Well, let me tell you. 
my granddaughter, who's 15, has decided she wants me to make her and design her a charm bracelet. So, I got her first charm. She plays the saxophone and loves music. Let me get my board. Let me get my jewelry board. This is a heart and music notes with a saxophone, a little charm. Can you see it? I hope you can. Isn't that cute? Just a standard charm. So, I'm very excited about that. That is her first charm. She sees my charm bracelets. I've got two. I've shown them to you before. I'm ordered, I have ordered some new charms, so I think I'm going to redesign my two and make three. And that little music charm was $3.48. Timu has a fast, like any interest you have, anything that's near to you, you can get. They're wonderful. Now, let's look at a little jewelry. Let's look at a little jewelry. All right, I have got this gold necklace here. That is absolutely beautiful. Very unique. Y'all know I like unique. Very unique. Very pretty. It's on a serpentine chain. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Beautiful chain. It's a simple gold necklace. And this necklace was $1.34. I got it crooked. <laughs> It's got an extension on it, as you can see. So you can make it long. Very long extension, actually. Very beautiful. $1.34. Love it. Now, I got a gold. Now, this one, unfortunately, I'm sorry, is sold out. I tried to find one like it, but I couldn't. This is more like a sweater necklace, a longer necklace. But look at this. Is that not gorgeous? No chain. Look at that. Those. So this is perfect for this time of year when you're pulling out your sweaters. And this one also, I'll hang it upside down. You have a long extension on this one. I just love this one. I mean, this is just going to be gorgeous. I've got notification if it comes back in stock. And I will let you know if you're interested. And we have a pair of pearl drop earrings. Pearl drop earrings. I'll show you one. These are just posts. Standard posts. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Go so beautiful with a pearl bracelet. Now, with an earring that big, I don't usually wear a necklace because I don't want to overdo my jewelry. So, when I have earrings this large, I won't wear. Stop swinging. <laughs> I won't wear a necklace. I'll just wear the earrings. And these little earrings were $1.48. So, those are really, really pretty. Then, we have a silver necklace. And the silver necklace, I thought, was just such a unique design. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, our chain got discombobulated. There we go. Look at that long chain. See how long that, and look at the extension. See how long that extension is? Let me put that chain up here. Look at that. Now those are separate rings, three separate rings. So they're gonna freestyle hang. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Beautiful. Now the silver necklace was $1.48. But let me show you these unique I mean, unique earrings. I got to go with them. Look at these. Look at these. 
I have never seen earrings like these before. Aren't those cool? So basically, you put them on, and they're going to... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you put them on, and they're going to hang like that. Aren't they cool? And these little earrings were $1.07. So I'm happy about those. I'm happy about wearing those. And they're not too heavy. I mean, they're silver, and they look it, but they're not too heavy. Now, this little ring is sort of disappointing. It looked a lot prettier in the picture. Where's my ring stand? This is a butterfly ring. Hold it up for you. See if you can see it. Ah, my lighting stinks this morning. It's so dark. Oh, that's terrible. But what you see is what I see. Nothing but a clouded blue-gray. There's no butterfly. I can't see a butterfly. There is no butterfly. I'm trying to let you pick up a little light, but there is no butterfly. I'm very disappointed in this one. I can't see a butterfly. Can't see any part of a butterfly. Very disappointed in this one. Very disappointed. So, that's where I stand with that one. Not very happy at all. Hi, Sunshines. I'm back. Sorry about that brief interruption, but all of a sudden my lights went out and they caught me totally off guard. So, they're still out. I called the power company. There's an outage. We had some high winds, so. But I'm back. Okay. You saw the silver earrings. Now, cute little night light. We'll hook to any USB. My box. <laughs> My box. Any USB or laptop. I just thought it was so cute. I had to get it. Oops. I knocked something over. Look at this. This is not too cute. And I have a grandson that went to the space camp last summer look at this stiff cord so you can pose it in any position a little light look at him a little astronaut ain't he cute and this little astronaut light was two dollars and 48 cents but look plug him in he just chills out so anybody that likes astronauts put my jewelry board back we're finished with the jewelry isn't that just so cute? So I just really thought he was cute. And this little astronaut, like I said, $2.48. So oh, he was real cute. All right. Now this. This is a perfect gift for those children. Look at this. Comes with a little string. You have to tie the string on. I guess you can hang it in any direction you want. But it's a little gas tank. It was a dollar and four cent. It comes with a little hole. And what you do is you roll up your money that you want to give for gas money. And you put it in the hole. And it says gas money on the side of the can. Let me see it. Gas money. I just thought it was cute. You know me. I like my little novelty things. So, dollar and four cent. I had the perfect child that's always running out of gas. Mm -hmm. So, now next, oh my goodness, it's winter time. Winter time, winter time, winter time. Do your feet get cold like mine? My feet get cold. I'm always wearing socks in the winter time. Now, these. Our little magnetic socks. Let's see how they feel. Okay. Nice, stretchable. Let me spin here. And they're thick. Okay. Not too thick, but they're good. 
Now, I want to see if this is going to hurt my... No. Okay. They feel just like the non-slip socks, so it, this is not thick at all. But these are supposed to have some kind of magnetic thing built into them that works with your the chemistry of your feet that are supposed to warm your feet up. Now, these little magnetic socks were $1.48. So, I'm anxious to see how these are going to work. But these are supposed to warm your feet up. So, if I can get little socks that work with the chemistry of my feet to keep my little toesies warm. My feet don't get cold necessarily, but my little toesies do. So, we're going to try these out, and I will let you know how they work. I hope they work. I'm excited. Now, it's scarf time. How many of y'all have those nice coats? What <laughs> my generation calls car coats. Come right below your waist. Usually a v-neck. So, I got this little scarf. Cute little scarf. But let me show you about this scarf. What I like. Okay. Nice and soft. Nice knit to it. Nice and soft. Very, very soft. Very soft. But look, look how it fits. You wear it around here. Now, in here, it's got a hidden little pocket. So what you do is you take the end of it and pull it through here, like this. And look at that. Not bulky like a big scarf, just enough to cover that V or your jacket, or your coat comes. So you don't have to get your coat all up in your neck. Have your coat down here, where it still looks nice for these semi-dress coats and jackets. And look at that. Look how it covers. And this little scarf was $3.14. Came in many, many different colors. But I have a tweed jacket coat that I wanted to wear with it. So that's why I got the gray. But look at that. Isn't that neat how that fits like that? That is too cool. So this is going to work perfect for what I want it to work for. And like I said, many, many different colors. And it's very, very soft. Good quality. Very good quality. The knit in here is really good quality. Now, for my jacket, that's a little bit fancier. I went ahead... And got me a faux fur one. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That's so soft. Look at that. And this one also, also came in many different colors. So whatever color your jacket is. Or whatever color you want. I just got the white. Now this is the same principle. Oh my goodness. Is this soft? And you have your little hole. And you pull it through, and it's going to fit right up here. Now, this one was only $2.57, but look at that. Perfect for those jackets and blazers that are cut with the V. You know, the lapels that come down. Perfect. Perfect. And like I said, I'm old school. We called them car coats. $2.57. Many, many colors. Now, what do we have next? All right. Now, I've got a few shirts that I got. A few shirts for fall. Now, I plan on doing another fashion show soon. Now, this one just screamed fall. Let me back up a little bit. Now, look at the colors on this. Look at this. Look at the colors. Nice sleeves. It's got the black cuffs. Look at this. Nice quality cuff. And this cuff, I know it's polyester, but it's got the cotton feel to it. And this shirt, look at this. It's lined. And it has that soft, soft lining soft lining with the cotton feel to it. 
I look at those colors all the way in the back. Beautiful little shirt. So I'm real happy with that. Wear it with a black pair of black leggings to dress it down. Or a pair of black dress pants to dress it up. Or brown. Or rust. Or even khaki pants. So I'm real happy with that. And that will be one that I will do with Tron for you. Now this is a little summer. Oh, I'm sorry. And that top was $10.98. What a deal. What a deal. Timu is. What a deal. Now, this is a little summer top, but it was only $6.89. $6.88. Now, let me find the top of it. Let's open it up. Let's find the top. How we go. What we've got. Oh, I'm opening it upside down. <laughs> Let me get my sleeves in. Let me get my sleeves in. Look at this. How it's going to flow. How it's going to flow. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Now again, this is polyester, but it's not the shiny polyester. Look at this top. $6.89. I mean, sometimes you just got to pick up summer clearance in the wintertime. Black and white. Classic. Now this, to me, is a top that can be dressed up. Put some beautiful gold jewelry on with it. With this neckline, it has a square neckline. Can you imagine? Even that gold necklace I just hauled. The square one with the piece. That's going to be beautiful with this. I mean, this is beautiful. And look at the bottom. How it's hemmed. I mean, it looks gorgeous. So, And don't worry. I will show it. Even though it's a summer top, I will show it in winter. Y'all know me. I show everything. Now this... It's just a fun pair of knock-around pants. And these little multicolored pants were $12.48. Now you'll notice from my title, today is a crazy eight haul. It seemed everything I bought ended in the eight, 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 eight. So it's a crazy eight day. These, look, just have a nice wide waistband. They've got the drawstrings if you need it. But there's a good, look at this. This is a good inch and a half piece of elastic in here. Nice and flexible. Look at this. Nice and flexible. And look. Just some wild little colors here. Just some wild little comfortable colors. And again, this is polyester. But it's not the swimwear type of polyester. It's just soft and comfortable. Just to lounge around the house, sleep in. Put a baggy t-shirt with. Just something comfortable. And they had lots of styles and colors. I just went wild. Wild and crazy. <laughs> so these are going to be very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Very excited about those. Now this little t-shirt. This I call my Coco t-shirt. This is one more, yeah. Get your little blanket. <clears throat> And snuggle up by the fireplace. Now, this one has more of that polyester feel. Now, I don't mind the polyester feel. I really don't. My husband does, but I don't. Look. Say, hot cocoa. I'm going to learn to talk one day. Power went off. My brain went off. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hot cocoa and blankets. Look at that. Just a cute little t-shirt. Now, this isn't a 4X because I like my t-shirts baggy. And this little Coco t-shirt was $7.98. And it came in other colors. I just got a green just to get something different. So I don't have a lot of green. But y'all know earlier this year, I was buying everything in purple. Purple, purple, purple. Purple seemed to be the color. Now, 
if you've been watching my channel, you know that the grandchildren have been doing all these beautiful snowman gem painting things for me. I've got that beautiful picture. I've got my beautiful coasters. Well, Grandma, we love doing that for you. <clears throat> Might have been a mistake they made. Look what I've got. Now, this matches the placemats and the runner. Uh-oh. Oh, I have a hard time getting into this. This matches the placemats. Ooh, I've never seen one pop like that. And runner that I have on my dining room table. So I'm very, very excited about this design. Look at this. Look at this. Let's see if I can get this open. Because I want to show you this. Hold on. I'm going to cut this piece of tape. There we go. I'm going to try to see if you can see the design. Am I upside down or am I right side up? Okay. All right. Well, I got a piece of foam. All right. Hold on. I'm not used to them coming like this. Wait a minute. Is this all sticky? Oh, that's all sticky. I can't pull that up. They've got white stick instead of the clear stick on this one. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm going to show you the little picture. It's a red background with the snowman. And it says, let it snow. But these are the placemats and the table runner that I have in my dining room. Isn't that cute? More red snowman. This says, let it snow. So, and as you can see, this is pretty big. I don't know if it gives dimensions. 40 by 30 centimeters. I was not born in the metric era. I don't know what that means. But it's got a huge pack of beads with it. Or gems or dots or... I don't know what the proper terminology for is for. So, that will be taken the next time I go visit my grandchildren and let them make that for me. And I will be sure to let you know how it looks. But I know they're going to do a good job. They always do a good job. And that snowman kit was $6.98. I'm excited about that. I can put that in my dining room to match. Now, let's get into some little interesting things. This, I bought to go in my bathroom on my vanity to hold my favorite earrings. This is an earring stand. Well, they call it a jewelry stand, but it's not going to hold a necklace. So, it came in white and black. I got the white. All right. That's supposed to fit in there. That doesn't lock in there. All right. Wait a minute. Okay. We got to put the deer over this. Hold on. Let me do a little assembly. All right. The deer goes over there. Okay. Then the tree goes in the deer's head. So I'm not sure if, oh, okay. So it's not a tree, it's the deer's antlers. So this is what you have, real pretty, real cute. And I just wanna sit it up there. It's not very wide, as you can see, so it's gonna not take up a lot of space. And just use this to hang my favorite earrings that I wear all the time. Like this time of year, I'm gonna be using mostly my snowmen and my snowflakes. Although I guess I gotta get better backs because if you saw my snowflakes fell off. <laughs> so get better backs on them. So just to hang the ones that you wear, you know, and my gold ones that I wear this time of year, to hang them on here. And this little earring stand was only 98 cents. I've ordered another one because I want two. But look at that stag. 
just sitting up there so proud. That big set of antlers. I thought it was a tree from the pictures, but now I can see it's a stag. And I don't have it snapped down tight. Y'all know my hand strength does not come back yet. But I'll get my husband to push it down. But isn't that cute? And it's going to hold quite a few sets of earrings. So I like that. I like that a lot. I'm happy with that. Now, all of y'all know, you get a favorite makeup brush. And you don't want to get rid of it. So I saw this. It's just a little silicone mat. Let's see if these pads come out. Yeah. Pads come out. Nice, pretty stiff sponge in here. And just for using water and soap. And just use it abrasive enough to clean your makeup brushes with. Now, these are very soft, the little sponges in here. They also come out. And then on the back, you've got more of grooves to rub your brush across. Like when you're drying it and you go to dry it. So you'd rub it across the back. But yeah. So, and this little brush cleaner was $1.98. My dog just barked because my lights just came back on. And I have a first alert machine. And my first alert machine just came on saying, power noticed. And Trixie heard the voice on the machine. Trixie, it's okay, baby. So, that's why you hear Trixie getting up from under the desk where y'all know she stays when I do my videos. So, I have power again. So, if you notice it got brighter, <laughs> I guess the power company fixed it down line. So, I'm going to try this out, but I do like the fact that it's got the grooves on the back so you can dry the brush out. I like this a lot. So, and they had other colors, so you match it to your vanity. Although, I'm going to keep it in the drawer. I'm not going to keep it out of my vanity. Now, got a couple of new products. Got a couple of new products we're going to try. Now, we know that we all like doing our nails. But, the main thing about doing your nails is protecting your nails. We don't want to damage our nails or our cuticles and we don't want to layer our nails and you know what I mean by layering them sometimes when you get the glue off so these are a pack of 50 foils 50 foils what you do is you put a few drops of the remover on here. Now remember, the good gels you get now and the ones that you see me do in my videos, you just need to use regular remover. You don't need to use all that space age stuff. You put the drops of it on here. Then you take it. You put it over your nail with the foam and you wrap it up. Wrap your finger up. Let it stay for about five minutes. And then when you pull it off, your gel and everything has come off. Now these nails were $2.98 for 50 of them. You don't have the mess of soaking. They say, they say, I haven't tried them. This is new. I know they do them in salons with chemicals. I'm going to try them with regular fingernail polish with acetone in them. We're going to try this and see how this works. Now, this is another product. It's called Magic Remover. Now, this Magic Remover was $2.98. It's in a plastic bottle. I'm not very impressed with things in a plastic bottle. But this Magic Remover says professional nail product remover so i'm gonna try this and see how this does now this is not something you'd use in the foils because this is a very small quantity 
So if I soak the foils with this, the odds of it getting on my nails are probably not. They would soak all in the foil. So I'm going to brush this on and I'm going to try this. And I will let you know how it goes. But once I saw it in the plastic bottle, I wasn't too thrilled about it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then, old fashioned me, old fashioned me, got me a new soaker station. A new soak station for $1.68. And you can get these in different colors. But this is what I'm used to. That doesn't hurt my nails. All your fingers just fit in here. Put your finger on posture and move around it. Because like I said, all the good gels now are soak off. You use regular fingernail polish remover with acetone. So, you just stick them in here while you're watching TV. About five minutes. And that's it. It does come with two. They came in pink, black, and something else. But I just got pink. Like I said, I keep them in the drawer. Nobody sees them. But when I'm doing them, I just feel more feminine with pink. And... I got some more nails. Now, as you saw in my previous hauls, I went ahead, bit the bullet, and got the nail, the professional nail cutters for fake nails. Because some of these long, long nails are the ones that have these beautiful designs on them. And I'm all for beautiful designs. So, I got these. But these are definitely going to have to be cut down. Because these things are pointy enough to write your name with. <laughs> I'm not into the pointy. But look at these beautiful greens. Look at that. You see the designs on there? Aren't those gorgeous? Whoops, wait a minute. I'm getting a glare. Look at those. But as you can see, I'm going to have to cut those off. Because that's not my style. I'm a little more squared off. This is not exactly my style, but I love the snowman. And if I were to cut them, see, if I were to cut them, I would cut my snowman. But I love these green ones. And these nails were $1.34. So, I'm going to stick with that. But I did. They had this on sale. And this is a nail kit. Look at this. Look at this. The nail kit was $2.69. I got 12 brushes. Look at all the different sizes of the brushes. Down to the skinny. Whoops. Let's try to spread them out for you. Down to the skinny, 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 skinny. And then you got your dotters. These that make all your dots and your flower designs and everything. All that came together. Both of these came together for $2.69. Now, I do have a nail video coming up when I take my snowman off. And we're going to start putting snowman, snow, snowman. I can't make a snowman. Snowflakes on our next set. So, that's going to be really exciting. I'm going to show you how to make snowflakes on your nails. And I'm going to use this kit. So, I'm excited about that. And also on that video... You'll see me use this little tool. Now, this little tool was 98 cents. But any of y'all that have seen me do my nails and my nail videos know I talk about the importance of your cuticle. This is a cuticle scraper. It's metal. It's stainless. It's sturdy. It's easy to disinfect. It's easy to clean with alcohol. But cleaning your cuticles and pushing your cuticles back is so important when you use gels and when you use overlays and press on nails. So important. Because you want to get all of that dead skin off so it can adhere better and so your natural nail can grow better. So, I will show those to you again in the video, like I always do, and explain how to use this and how to do it. And, lastly, I got another bottle holder. Y'all know I use my bottle holders because I do all my manicures on a towel. And it's just silicone. 
sits on the table and you put your nail polish bottle in here, your top coat, your bottom coat, whatever bottle in here. And this little brush bottle stamp is $1.34. dollar thirty-four. yes. I want something that wasn't eight. I actually had a couple things that wasn't eight, but not many. So, I will go over that and show you those. But what I want to do on this channel is not only share a piece of me and things that are important to me, but share things that I like and share things that I find and try to help you make your life easier and do things the easy way you can. Become organized and put a little flair in your life. So I hope you enjoyed this haul as much as I enjoyed showing you all these items and talking about little things in my life and things that have happened. And soon I'm going to go live with vlogs and be able to talk to you and answer your questions and share even more. And I'm very excited about that. But for now, I ask that each of you have a blessed day. And remember, Genesis 31, 49, the Lord watch between me and thee when we are away from one another.